Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to set up our deep water culture bucket. Also, I'm gonna share with you guys a tip that most growers don't know. But before I do, first let me explain what it's all about. DWC is the most pure and simplest form of hydroponics and is a great system for beginners. The foundation of DWC is that your plants are growing in aerated, nutrient-enriched, temperature-controlled reverse osmosis water. A huge perk with DWC is that your roots will become massive and are less prone to root diseases. There are some challenges when growing with DWC. If you're not constantly providing aeration, that can cause algae and root rot. We suggest using reverse osmosis water and a chiller because you need pure water and tight temperature control. You'll have to be super careful about mixing nutrients, measuring pH and PPM, and cleaning out your DWC unit. In short, DWC is great for growers who love hydroponics and want to take time to tune their system for maximum yield. The bucket that we offer on our website comes with a DIY bucket, a 10 inch bucket basket, a 1 4 inch tubing, a water level tube, and an air pump. When you first start your DWC, fill your water to about 1 inch above the bottom of the basket. This is so the roots have something that can easily access. However, once the roots start growing, you want to keep lowering the water level so that the roots have a reason to grow. Add the type and the amount of nutrients to the water required for the type of plant to be grown. Next, attach the 1 4 inch tubing to the air pump and then put the other half on top inside to the bucket. In this example, we use an air stone to keep the tubing down and to distribute the air a little bit better. Turn on the pump and you're ready to go. Use a second bucket to hold the plant while you clean out the pot. The reason why you want to clean the pot is because there'll be excess nutrients in the pot that are not being used. And if you just try to add more nutrients to the solution, then your PPM can get too high and your plants won't absorb the nutrient that it actually needs. The number one thing that most hydro users forget is to create the right temperature for the reservoir. Your ideal temperature is between 65 to 72 degrees. If you're having problems keeping your water cold enough, then try throwing a bottle of frozen water into the bucket. I hope this video was helpful in teaching you guys a little bit about deep water culture. We offer a really nice set on our website at growist.com, so if you guys want to go check that out, go ahead and click on this link here. With that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. One of the greatest debates in indoor growing today is what is the best grow medium? Hydroponics, soil, or cocoa blend? Hydroponics is the use of pumps and reservoirs to water your plants using a soilless medium. Cocoa blend is the natural fiber extracted from